How hopeful are you about the year ahead? It depends what day you ask me. Some days I'm pretty hopeful. Other days I'm going, oh, we're in big trouble. We're a very divided society um, financially. And uh, I don't know. I, it scares me a little bit. I'm always kind of hopeful, but the, the market hasn't been doing very well right now in the stock market. My pension's tied up in the market. So I'm a little concerned about it now. But in general, it, what goes up has always gone, or what goes down has always gone up before. It's going to take a while this time, but, but it'll get back to there and we'll be fine. Uh, very. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe the government starts cutting some of their taxes and help us out a little bit. But other than that, no, I'm really hopeful for it. It's, it sounds good for the next year. Pretty hopeful. I'm a teacher, so it's already like in the schools. It's uh, the restrictions are obviously nil at this point, but uh, I feel like everybody still has in the back of their mind that it's still looming and more cautious. I feel like so. Pretty hopeful. Uh, I think the inflation is really the price of, of everything: food, gas, you know, housing, and everything is very difficult for a lot of people. Uh, I'm retired, so. You know, I have a, a steady income from pensions, etc. But for younger people, you know, our our son, he's not going to be able to buy a house. So I'm I'm concerned. I'm optimistic. That's my nature. I feel like optimistic overall. I feel that the the changes individuals and our society, for the in general, have made to really change their behaviors, wear masks when you need to, although now there are not so many masks, but I feel that there's been a lot of changes on an individual level that has, exec has changed a lot of people on a bigger scale. I, I think people are finding new normals. My big hope is that we, as we find beautiful things from the before times to reclaim, that we will also think about how we're going to make it new and different and not just rush for all the way it was before because lots of things from before were no good. Uh, really hopeful. I think it's going to be great. I think uh, it's already great. Like It's already releasing a bit. I feel like people are outgoing. People are uh, getting back to live life kind of normally, like for the most part. And uh, yeah, I think years ahead are going to be great, like really uh, um, releasing and free, yeah. I'm pretty optimistic. I think Calgary's in good, good shape. We got, you know, oil prices are strong and uh, people are working, um, you know, vacancy rates are low. Seems like, seems like Calgary's in a, in a good position. Actually, I'm pretty hopeful. I keep active. Uh, things just seem to be going pretty good. Um, be nice if things weren't so expensive, but otherwise, yeah, pretty good. We're opening things back up. It feel we're traveling again, and it's. Uh, I hope we're moving forward, and it feels good. Uh, quite hopeful. Uh, it's good to see people out again. You know, not walking away from people. When you see people, you have to keep your distance. You know, I think as humans, we're supposed to connect, and that's a big part of life, so it's nice to see it again, so I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful from the, the COVID perspective, not so hopeful from the market perspective in terms of the inflation and, and uh, the war in Ukraine and other challenges that uh, we uh, face in the world, but from uh, a perspective of getting back to life and getting out and enjoying life, uh, I'm very hopeful. Cost of living is crazy. It's uh, really out of control. Uh, I don't know when it's going to change. I I believe that once they charge more money, they don't come down in price. Uh, I don't really believe in the supply and demand theory. I just see more happiness coming to our world, I guess. I'm very grateful that the world is going back to normal and people are starting to vision it as normal. So I think that's what we need. Well, I think the COVID's a little bit under control. Uh, I don't know about the finances, whether that's going to screw things up for a year, but I don't know other than that. I'm just hopeful. It's got to change. It's got to go for the better. Well, if the government will reduce uh, all the COVID mandates that they keep sticking with, I'm hopeful. Uh, and if they start having energy flowing by having pipelines and things like that, that would make me hopeful. But under their current stand of things, I'm not real hopeful with this current federal government. Very optimistic. The inflation cycle, I'm not sure if that's going to last the entire year. 
the war in Ukraine is a huge factor in that, uh, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I, I'm optimistic. At my age, if you're still alive, you're optimistic. I mean, it's tricky to be hopeful for many things, I think, um, but you kind of just have to keep hoping that things will get better. Uh, well, I think that we'll see probably some more progress on uh, getting beyond coronavirus. I think we're starting to see some economic rebound. Um, I mean, global affairs will tell a lot of that. So I'm hopeful just in terms of life kind of getting back to normal. I'm hoping it gets better because it's sure not looking very good right now. So the way the markets are just going in the tank every day, it seems like, and you know, and yeah, the interest rates, the inflation, you know, and just everything all at once, gas prices. It's tough. It's tough for everybody. Hopeful. Riders will win the Grey Cup. <laughs> That's hope. <laughs> Very hopeful.